Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Youths in Georgia benefit from the gathering of the eagles. Is the concept of airliners flying on biofuel a PR stunt? And Sporties brings back the primary trainer with its 172 light. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. The Gathering of Eagles is an event held at AirVenture that brings together all areas of the general aviation community to raise funds for EAA's youth education programs. At EAA AirVenture last year, a mystery box was auctioned off. Now that box will be heading to Georgia to benefit an education program for young people, thanks to the combined efforts of the EAA, Sonics Aircraft, and longtime aviator Ron Alexander. The contents of the mystery box, which was a full Sonics aircraft kit with an Aero V engine conversion, was handed to Alexander by EAA and Sonics at last week's Sun and Fun fly in. The kit will be used as part of the youth mentorship program at historic Candler Field in Williamson, Georgia. Jack Pelton, EAA's chairman of the board, said, quote, I can't imagine a better home for this aircraft kit than the Candler Field Youth Mentorship Program. It shows how what we do at Oshkosh during the Gathering of Eagles brings all of us together for a single purpose and has a direct influence on developing a new generation within aviation." End quote. The CEO of Budget Carrier, Ryanair, said that the use of biofuels by airlines is a, quote, PR stunt. It's reported that Mike O'Leary said that, quote, the idea that you grow food with great cost and turn it into fuel is just nuts, end quote. He said that the idea that the world has, quote, past peak point with oil has proven to be wrong, end quote. O'Leary discounted flights that have used a blend of standard and alternative fuels as a public relations move to, quote, appeal to some middle-aged, middle-class person worrying about the future, end quote. O'Leary said that Ryanair is Europe's youngest and most fuel-efficient fleet. Because of that, he said they produce fewer CO2 emissions than other airlines. He added, quote, but other than that, I don't really care about all that stuff, end quote. He also said that taxing air travel based on environmental issues is a flawed policy. After the break, Sporty's 172 Lite receives a warm reception. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Since joining the flight line at Sporty's Flight School, Sporty's 172 Lite, is proving to be a popular aircraft for new student pilots and even those building experience and more advanced phases of training. The concept is simple. Take tried and true technology that's universally understood by technicians and refurbish, fix, and simplify it as an introductory training aircraft. The 1970s era Cessna 172 airframe is revamped inside and out making any required repairs. Windows are replaced, modern lighting is installed, and it gets a freshly overhauled engine. 
A new instrument panel with minimum avionics and standard instruments is also installed. After a fresh coat of paint, the airplane looks like new. The goal is to reduce distractions and focus the student's attention outside the aircraft while at the same time reducing student workload and stress that comes from an overloaded panel or glass flight deck. Students will learn to fly first before they take on the often burdensome task of managing complicated avionics. The Sporties 172 Lite is available at Sporties Academy for an introductory rate of just $99 an hour. Each week, we share with you a sample of an online video one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off of because you know I'm all about that space, about that space, space travel. I'm all about that space, about that space, space travel. Join along as NASA spoofs it up by borrowing a modern ditty and singing I'm all about that space travel as you take a look at what's going on at the Space Works. We guarantee it'll bring a smile to your face. Search all about that space on YouTube. After these messages, Happy birthday to the Airbus A380. AML's patent pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Explore no limits flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we summarize some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Airbus A380 performed its maiden flight 10 years ago this month. The company says its vision and passion for aviation are keeping the A380 at the forefront. Sales of the A380 now total 317 from 18 customers. A 20-inch UAV was discovered last week on the roof of the office building where the Japanese Prime Minister normally works. Police said they found a camera a plastic bottle, and what appears to be a flare with a UAV. Siemens researchers have developed a new type of electric motor that delivers a continuous output that is five times more than comparable drive systems. It's proposed it could power aircraft with takeoff weights of up to two tons. Cessna has unveiled a new standard interior for the Caravan line of single-engine turboprops. The new interiors, which improve cabin comfort and functionality, are available for today, and customer deliveries have already begun. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. If your idea of aerosports is going to EAA Air Venture to look at the classic airplanes, it may seem odd to call a jet fighter a classic. However, the North American F-100 holds a special place in U.S. fighter history. And to see one flying is a rare privilege. This F-100 is owned by Dean Cutter Cutshaw of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And the aircraft will take part in the Warbird Air Show performance and also be the subject of a Warbirds in Review session. The Super Saber, nicknamed Hun, which is short for 100, is the first of the Century Series collection of USAF jet fighters. 
It served with the Air Force from 1954 to 1971 and with the Air National Guard until 1979. The Super Sabre represented the change from subsonic to supersonic flight as the standard for the U.S. Air Force. Well, that's our program for Monday, April 27th. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember, Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.